Hello everybody, welcome back to Chibi Robo. So, it's daytime again, and we can almost completely fill up the Chibi battery, or the Giga battery now. Oh, uh, right now the Giga battery has about 7,000 kilowatts charged. Do you want to charge it? Yes. Oh, 1,000 kilowatts equals 1,000 mua. How many kilowatts do you want to charge? We do, not 1,000, 2,000. We'll give it 1,000 kilowatts. I want to do 2,000. Huh? Wait a minute. That doesn't look good. I've got a bad feeling about this. A really bad feeling. What's going to happen once that thing is all filled up? Oh well, never mind. The Giga Battery has charged 8,000 kilowatts. That meant to charge more though. <laughs> the Giga Robo, why didn't you say you wanted to charge more than that? It was because I, I didn't push the control stick right, that's why. We'll give it a thousand kilowatts! Because this is basically the only thing we can spend our money on now. <laughs> what is going to happen if the thing falls filled up? Oh well, never mind. The Giga Battery has charged 9,000 kilowatts. Twiddle it, twiddle it. Anyhow. Telly, you should be ashamed of yourself. Also, is there anything in the There shouldn't be anything in the shop. I always check, but it's like... Come on, Artie. You, you know this game. You know there's nothing new for sale. Let's get out there and make some people happy. Because that's the whole point. Hey, Jenny. Ribbon. Yay, Chibi. You're a great cook, Chibi. We're best friends. Burp. <laughs> Oh, I mean, ribbit. <laughs> she likes our hamburgers, yay! Sam, it looks like you have something there. Can I have it? You know it. I found this down the drain, so you might want to wash it off a bit before you use it. There are rats down there and a lot of junk. Thank you very much. Jenny just gave you 30 free happy points. You got 50 moolah. Spread the happiness. If you collect two more, something good will happen. Still two more. Oh, that's right. Hey. GB Ribbit, thank you, Ribbit. You're welcome, Jenny. And she gives us an extra 10 happy points. <laughs> and 10 bucks! Even though I'm pretty sure that's the equivalent of like a penny or a tenth of a penny, but... Hey, you know what? As a robot, you take what you can get. Dad's not out here. But the frogs are back. Hey, now! Hey, frogs! How's it going? Thank you so much. Long time no see, Chibi Robo. Ribbit. Can I ask you something, Ribbit? It's been so dry here lately. If this keeps up, our minds and bodies will shrivel up like disgusting prunes. We need to stay moist. It's the frog way. We used to bring the rain with a rain ritual. But now there are only two of us, Glowbox, left. And we need three frogs to do it, Ribbit. Can you help us with our rain ritual, please? Of course, I'll help you out. Really, Ribbit? Let's have our rain ritual, Ribbit. The rules are easy, Ribbit. Adjust your timing so that when you crouch at the same time as us with Z. Watch our movements carefully and get the timing right, Ribbit. Let's go, Ribbit. That's it. Gotta wait for them both to crouch. Right on. It's pretty easy. 
That's a pretty easy rain ritual. Oh, wow. Are they wizards? That happened really quickly. Holy cow. Yay! Rain Ribbit! Rain Ribbit! Thank you, Chibi Robo! It's not only just for us frogs. I bet the flowers are happy too, Ribbit. The frogs just gave you 100 happy points! Spread the happiness! Oh! You got the frog sticker! You really are amazing, Chibi Robo! Oh, one other thing. So, you know, you, liquids aren't the only thing you can pick up off the ground. Right here, these flowers, if you press A next to them with a squirter, you take the flower nectar out of them. Fun fact, that's actually the first thing I discovered you could do with the squirter. I didn't even think that these were special stains you could pick up. So I'm just like, all right, I have flower nectar, that's about it. Squirter's not that great. Squirter's very useful. And it's needed for a lot of different puzzles in the game. Anyhow. You might be wondering, where are you going, Artie? <laughs> well, remember the bird? Yeah, the bird's back and he's got another thing for us. Yeah, so back at the bird, he's got a new thing for us. Oh, you again. My stomach's empty. I'm starving. Got anything for me? Uh... Soda cans, Jolly Rancher bags, gunpowder. No, you give them cookie crumbs. Ah, that's what I wanted to eat, chirp. Crunch, crunch. Whoa, he's like Mario. Ah, I'm full, chirp. <laughs> <laughs> All those crumbs have made me thirsty, Chirp. This is gonna ruin my singing voice, Chirp. Water's good, but I much prefer the sweet nectar from a flower. Coats the throat better. Now that my stomach's full, I think I'll fly around for a bit, Chirp. I'm counting on you. I like the idea of the bird having a deep voice. Just like, oh, you again. Because <laughs> we always picture birds as being like these really sweet, like, high-pitched, have seen in voice. I, I like the idea of birds be having attitude. And a lot of birds do. Looking at you, Canadian geese. I love birds, but Canadian geese, they're terrible. I'm not cleaning up after Tao today. I'll, I'll mop up the dad's footprints, but I'm not mopping up Tao's. He's got to learn. He's really got to learn. Holy cow. Tao, this is a disgrace. Oh my gosh, Tao has tracked his paw prints around like every single door in the entire house. Absolutely ridiculous. Come on, Tao, you're better than that. Or maybe he's not. Tisk, tisk, you shouldn't be slacking off. I love that Tully's just flying around with a homemade microphone and a homemade tuxedo. Oh, but I'm sure there are times when you need to take a breather. Oh, so how about this? Hey, check it out. I made a record. I'll sing you a song. It's called Teriyaki Blues. This again. See, that happened to me whenever I try to charge. <sighs> Goodbye. I just gave you 21 happy points. Spread the happiness. He'll sing that song one of these days. Hopefully. One thing I think we're gonna try out today is we did the chicken race. We also have the space scrambler. There's a mini game of that. And I'm, I'm not sure if it's easier or harder than the chicken race one. It's less precise, but it's also a lot longer. Uh, you know, just to be safe, I'm gonna plug in. 
I don't think this minigame takes any of your energy, but you never know. And I don't want to end up <laughs> in another situation like uh, the training. Man, this is the dad's secret candy cookie stash. This is where he just stores all this trash. You can't hand you a hand to hold any more Jolly Rancher wrappers. I said you can't hold any more Jolly Rancher wrappers. All right, fine. Genie door up here. Totally forgot about that. I was on the other side. I was with the red block when I flew down. This is the other part. Fly down on or wait for the ladder. Hey, bros. I'm a pilot. My dream has come true. Well, that's very nice. Now, I would really... Wow, that hitbox is big. Hey, dudes. Whoa, you've got a space scrambler, too? Wanna fly with us? Yeah, this is a tough minigame, though. Oh, I wish I had the green space scrambler. I got the red one. Or Christmas. Destroy the floating targets. Oh, and make it to the goal within the time limit. Let's go, Chibi Robo! Show these flyboys what you've got! The Space Scrambler slows down every time it shoots. Stop shooting and it'll pick up speed. It's simple, really. Shoot as many targets as possible without missing a single one. And don't get caught going over the time limit. Good luck! Yeah, so basically it's gonna be- you don't control the Space Scrambler. It moves automatically, much like the Hot Rod Race did. This time, all you have to do is control when you shoot and you'll lock onto targets. There are yellow ones that are worth like, one point, red ones that are worth more, but you have to shoot them multiple times. You can't shoot rapidly, and every time you shoot, it slows you down. You don't have to shoot all of the targets. They say don't miss a single one, no, 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 no. You can get the space uh, scrambler sticker without shooting all the targets. However, if you go over time, you get like the worst possible grade. And let me tell you what, if you try shooting every target, you're not going to make it in the time limit. This is a very strict time limit, so you actually have to shoot pretty, Sparingly. Yahoo! So we're shooting these targets. Not bad. I'm gonna try shooting the red ones as I pass by. Chibirama, Chibirama, Chibirama! Not bad. Or maybe you just don't shoot a lot in a row. That might be it. Okay, we're nearing the end of the course. Yeah, when you go into the basement, that's the end of the course. I've never seen anyone fly like that! Oh, I got a rank D. Never mind, I sucked. Nice flying, Ace! That's a new record! You still suck, though. You need a lot more work, though. Thanks for flying with us. Fairbanks just gave you two happy points. Bama just gave you two happy points. Bama? I don't know. And like the chicken race, you can do this three times a day. Let's try that one again. Wanna hear the rules? No. Good luck! Yahoo! I've never seen anyone fly like that. Is that a compliment or a criticism? Maybe you do have to hit all of the targets. Oh, 
Oh yeah, we're running out of time real fast. Yahoo! We still got a rank of D. Wow. Nice flight, Ace. That's technically a new record. Wow. This is way harder than I remember it being. Never mind, this is way harder than the chicken race. Well, we can try once more. Good luck! Yahoo! Actually, let me try something else. I'm gonna try shooting every target as soon as I reach them. Oh man, you really slow down when you shoot a lot in a row though. Yeah, the red ones take three shots in order to get the- oh man. This is the problem though. When you shoot a lot, it's- you don't make it to the end in time. Yeah, I'm not gonna make it to the end. Yeah, you get like no points if you don't make it to the end. Time's up! Keep an eye on your time! You guys didn't make it either! I look forward to our next flight. Yeah, that that one takes some finagling to get the S rank on. Clearly. I the best I got was a D. Hey Spidors, it's been a while. I have one more Utilibot I need to make. And they're not being very nice. I know they're the spy doors, but seriously, come on. They're dropping, like, the weakest scrap. Guess I need to find some more and kill them. Maybe there's some on the upper floor. Oh, my Tau... Maybe it's just because I'm not cleaning up Tau's stuff anymore. Which is why these paw prints are everywhere. But seriously, this is ridiculous. What? I'm not thinking of anyone! Especially not that Drake Red Crest! Sorry to bother you, Chibi Robo. Dang. Oh, feels good! Uh-huh. Well, hey. Now that's interesting. She dropped something. Oh, that's a chair? I don't think I ever knew that was a chair. What's this? It's a love letter. Chibi Robo! Did you find a letter? Would you like me to read it for you? I mean, we don't know who this is for, so maybe we shouldn't. That's very noble of you. I'm touched. I just gave you five happy points. You got five moolah. Spread the happiness. But I'm curious, so let's read it anyway. <laughs> okay. Ahem. <laughs> Dearly beloved, red, the vibrant red of your crest represents your burning passion. White, the pale white of your uniform represents your pure heart. The two colors intermingle to make pink the color of my love. Listen to the beating of my heart. Hear the pulse of my love. I am a slave to the brilliant hues of your love. Is that like one of those like... You know those cards where you open it up, 
and it like plays a sound, like it plays a music song. So like one of those, but like you open it up and it's like a hologram of Sophie's head. That would be weird. Whoa, this is a love letter. Sorry, but I just had to read it. Listen to the beating of my heart. I heard a strange sound the other day. That must have been her heart beating for me. Oh, excuse me. No, I don't think it was meant for you, Telly. Hey there, lady. That's weird. I just know I had it. Um, how do I say this? Um, Chibi Robo? It's so crowded around here now. Could you find me in the kitchen later? Um, uh, like at night? Oh, really? Thanks. I guess I'll see you later then. Sophie just gave you five happy points. There you go, Tembula. Spread the happiness. This, uh, isn't a date or anything. That's fine. Hey, also, check out my cool suit. I thought Tao would take it to chewing on your head instead. But it's you dressed up like him, Chibi Robo. You caught me off guard. I'm so embarrassed. This feeling is not love. No, not love. No, it's the feeling of there being a dog in the house who chews on you. Also, Sophie looks like she's in really good shape considering she is literally a chew toy. Anyhow, you know what we really need to do? We really need to go back to Jenny's room. Yay, more spiders! Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Again, I'm, I'm literally 10 scrap short of being able to get the final Utilibot. That's dumb. Those, these are tire tracks that definitely came from the chicken race. Maybe more spiders will appear in Jenny's room. There's still the free ranger on the bookshelf. I can't remember if I actually got to him in time or not. Alright, how much trash do I have to throw out? I know I have ten of those. Old soda cans, a lot of waste. Oh, I have ten waste paper. Dang. You just got a total of 94 happy points and you got 940 mula. Sweet. Drake Redcrest, are you still waiting on... He's like, I cannot save the princess myself. I must wait for Chibi Robo to do it for me. Oh, hey, it's Sunshine. Hey, how's it going? creepy. Oh, uh, <coughs> sorry to interrupt your meal. Huh? How long have you been standing there? <laughs> the music is sli a slightly off-key recorder. Which is great. It sounds innocent, but also kind of creepy. Oh, uh, not very low at all. You should have at least said something. I did, but... You did, but what? Um, uh, is something wrong? What? It's nothing. I'm sorry. My name is Sunshine. Nice to meet you. This is the first time we've met, isn't it? Well, actually, no. We talked twice before. Once when Jenny was controlling you, and, uh at night, and the other time when you were walking near Jenny while she was watching the weird TV thing, where she was completely entranced. So this is the third time speaking, actually. 
And you are. This is Chibi Robo. And I'm Telly, his manager. Chibi Robo and Telly. Oh, yes, I see. What nice names. Nice to meet you. Uh, yes. Nice to meet you, too. Well, uh, we should get going. Nectar. Nectar. Is something wrong? Whoa! I'm hungry! Yeah. I'm hungry for nectar! Bring me some nectar! Nectar from a flower! Bring it now! Don't make me hurt you! Douse me with it! I want to roll around in it! Sweetie Bear needs nectar! Nectar! I can't help it! adult character in this kid's game. Uh, Sunshine is like a t teddy bear that suffers from nectar addiction and going through withdrawals is not fun. Wow, yeah. <laughs> Wildly creative character, but also like, holy cow. Okay. Why do I get the feeling that Mort is not in a very good place mentally and he's just stress eating? Either that or that, or Jenny's doing that. And <laughs> Jenny's just <laughs> pigging out at night and like being like, Chibi Rebel will fix this. <laughs> Throw it under her bed. Poor thing, she's going through a lot. Her parents are threatening divorce. <laughs> she got cursed by a frog wizard. Let's do our no. Let's do our best to try to actually climb this castle. We should have enough time. Should be in the all important keyword. Oh dog on it. Am I gonna run out of energy? I totally am. Oh. Let's see how far I can go. Maybe there's a socket up here somewhere. There's one below me. No, I don't think there is one, but we're already this high up. This is where you can insert a D battery. Do I have a D battery? No, I don't. Yikes, that's right. Alright, here we go. Now we're making some progress. So help me, if this takes even longer to get up than this day to get up the castle, that's gonna be insane. I know the castle's long, but it's not this long. Uh, yeah, go for this door. Wait, no, I already went through that way. Oh, that's right. <laughs> you can go up here. This is really cool, actually. You shoot the clock, and it creates a platform. No, don't pick up your plug. Climb the ladder. Please, and thank you. Ah, here we go. You just astound me. It took you like five days, but you got it. The goal is within your reach. Go to the lovely princess pits and deliver her red shoe. Alright, I, I will try more. Oh yay, that's good. Then that door opens there, that creates a shortcut right down to the bottom. Mercifully.
And now that we have the D battery, I think this is the, the AA battery it hasn't run out. Oh, this is where you insert a D battery. Cool. Got you right here. And that makes the yellow soldiers start moving, which allows us to get the final battery. But before we can do that, we're gonna wanna, you know, do some recharging. Seriously, got, I've just got to finish the castle now. There's barely any time left, and I'm literally right at the end, so... Yeah, we can now enter through the middle door, and it takes us all the way up to the top. Hooray! And the final battery is the C battery. This is where you insert a C battery! Cool, it's right here. Now we just have one final platforming puzzle to get past. So these three soldiers are three different heights. waiting for the exact right time for everything. Thankfully the soldiers rush around except for when they're at the part where you need to jump from one to the other. That's at least nice. It's so help me if I run out of time again. That's gonna be so annoying. I have to make another trip to Jenny's room just to finish up this dumb side quest. And we still have to wait even longer for before we can do any more of it. Good, alright. We should have enough time. It's that, that last sliver is always the longest, right? There you go. That's cool. And that's where you need the range chip. Hello, milady. Oh, I read you. Thank you, thank you. Princess Peach. Let me introduce myself. I'm Princess Pitts. I don't know who you are, but you have my undying gratitude. I had already given up. I resigned myself to spending the rest of my life in the castle. I mean, walking outside without my shoe? Please! That would be so icky! Anyway, thank you very much. If it isn't too much trouble, would you be so kind as to tell me your name? Chibi-Robo! This is Chibi Robo. And my name is. You're the famous Chibi Robo? Poor Telly. Excuse me for asking this. But you wouldn't happen to be the one who's been bringing me flowers? Uh, no, that's not me. See, 
And who could it be? Ha 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 ha! A sweet damsel! Oh, Drake Redcrest? Thanks for nothing, Drake Redcrest. You would have just sat there for like five whole days being like, Well, Timmy Robo has to be the one to save her, then I'll swoop in and get all the credit. <laughs> Can I help you? I found a flower in the backyard that was almost as beautiful as you. It is a special present from Drake Redcrest. For you. Oh, poor Mort. No wonder he's, he's, he's stress eating. Drake Redcrest. Are you perhaps the one who's been bringing me flowers? Those filthy fins? I think not! Oh, I see. But I like these filthy flowers. Anyway, thank you. Mmm, perhaps... Justice demands filthy flowers? Excuse me! Well, Princess Pitts, if you'll excuse me. Chibi-Robo, please come and visit me again. Oh yeah, when you talk to her, she blows happy points at you. With, like, a kiss. But I'm not waiting for that. Um, hi, Sunshine, um, you've got a problem. We need to talk to you about your nectar addiction. But speaking of which, let me indulge you in your nectar addiction. Nectar, my sweetest friend! I'm full of warmth and happiness now. Thanks, Chibi Rama. Sunshine just gave you 26 happy points for indulging her in her uh, nectar addiction. That's probably not a good thing, but all right. Spread the happiness. It's like Winnie the Pooh with you is evil and like could not get enough of honey. Yay, it's nectar, my favorite. Yay, I'm covered in nectar. Sunshine just gave you an hour six happy points. Spread the happiness, I guess. I'm so full of joy. Ooh, I'm the ghost of Nectar Past. If you keep eating nectar, you'll end up like me. Are you trying to scare me? Dude, do not even start with me. I'll show you something scary. <laughs> Scary. <laughs> oh. Well, I actually forget if uh, there is the, still the Free Ranger Pirate up there that I didn't end up getting to in time. I can't remember if I like, just made it in time or if I just didn't make it in time. Okay, I, I made it in time. Yay! Oh, I'll show off what the pajamas do, because we're at the end of the day. You press Z. Instantly ends the day. Chibi Robo, do you need some quiet time with good old television? Oh! I didn't mean that, like, in that way, though. <laughs> and then you'll just be, like, passed out in your, in here. It's great. Great work out there! Let's adjust your happy point total. Your Chibi ranking has gone from 7 to 6 for making it into the top 6. Since we're to spend you a special gift to bring a bonus battery. Whoa, would you look at that? Your battery power went up to 290. Sweet. In order to get the next bonus battery, you need 627 more happy points. Well, you're here, Chibi Robo. Would you like to say? Yep. That's going to do it for this episode of Chibi Robo, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time. This next night's going to be pretty busy. Uh, we're going to go back to Jenny's room. There's something we can do there. We're going to go back to the parents' bedroom. There's also something really crazy that you can do that I haven't done yet. We're going to be doing that next time. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.